and we're live and hello mouse zow zow and anyone else turning into the stream uh, i did put a link out to uh Ben's Cards and Collectibles box break. Um, again, hope everyone is doing safe and well today. And so, uh, one of my last uh, few purchases of trading cards that I'll be doing for the time being until things get on better track financially is um, I purchased from you can't see it because of the bright light but uh, big boy cards they are located in Montreal Quebec here in Canada and I scored some 99 2000 upper deck series 2 hockey packs that they were selling 24 packs in a lot for 22 bucks uh, Canadian so I got uh, 48 packs apparently or this is supposed to be 48 packs in this box uh, with shipping cost me 65 Canadian and uh, so there's I think some okay rookie cards in this set uh, considering it's the upper part of a full set again the big thing I'm wanting to do here is uh, just basically go for the inserts uh, I think some of the I think this the Sendine twins that played in Vancouver I think are also in this upper set so we'll see how that goes So they were loose packaged, obviously. They weren't. Uh, they weren't done. So here's basically what they look like. And they went for two two ninety nine US and four forty nine Canadian a pack. The big insert out of these cards was actually. Uh, game used goal pad cards and they have fine game worn patch cards so uh, right now I don't think it's the most on me right now this is probably about the biggest insert I got uh, out of a box of uh, 1920 SP2. Let me try to change this camera angle a bit. It is a Rookie Authentics from um, Upper Deck 2018-19. And it is the... Um, a Dylan Dubé on card signature and it is 20 you can't see it because of the let me go into my settings here and uh, oops wrong thing let me go into my settings here and bring down the brightness a slight bit or the focus is off there that's better at least the focus is a bit better I'll take the brightness down here a bit so anyways <laughs> no probably not 
Uh, ah, that's why. Stupid auto camera setting has the white balance off. So, we will bring the... There, yeah, that's a bit better. Since I got a bright light, but... It's a Dylan Dubé, and it's a 20 of 25 on card signature. I don't know why I'm having a hard time with light reflection, but. We'll just leave it at that for now. So that's one card uh, I do have coming up from uh, Ben's uh, Ben 76 G's that I'd bought into. I'd bought in on some of his uh, card breaks, and I have actually some, uh, quite a few nicer, I think, higher tier uh, card cards that I got buying into team breaks. So let's make sure they sent me 24 packs, or 48 packs. Two, four... One stack of twelve. <clears throat> Two, four, six, eight, ten. There's twenty four. And 48. Um, no, they will not. Ha I don't think they will have the COVID masks on in the cards. But you never know. It could be some special kind of gimmicky insert kind of thing that they end up doing. So let's get this out of the way. And, uh, can see my rusty corner here. So, if I turn away from the screen, it's because of the angle I'm trying to do it here. And this isn't exactly perfectly clean, but it's not exactly uh, bad anyways. So... Let's see, there is also in the set a limited edition Gordy Howe card, which would be very nice. There's also some other ones. So let's see what we got here. They're all sticky, given the age that they're 0809. That's not surprising. Uh, Rob Niedemeyer, Jason Allison, uh, Sandus Ozilich, Daryl Sador, Del Gilmore playing with the Blackhawks, Mary Lettinen, Brian Campbell. Sundstrom, Rob Blake, Dmitry Malakoff. Actually, even better. Why don't I just... Do that. And... Tilt that back up. All right, that's 
better. Dmitry Zuboff, Zitnik, Morozov, Brian Burrard for the Leafs, Tedragoski, Ranheim. These are really sticky. McLaren, guy I don't even think is in the NHL anymore. Mike Conry. So, so far, no rookies, which are featured in second series of Upper Deck. No rookies, no inserts yet. It's funny, even just doing this, you can hear crack, crack, crack. <coughs> Oh, I got a card backwards here. NHL Scrapbook. SB3. And, of course, who's in the side chat definitely would like this card. Given the nature of their fans of them. But we have a... Oh, kind of crappy that's got a slight... It's got a ding here on the edge. But we have a NHL scrapbook Steve Eiserman insert with a slightly lifted edge there, as you can see, which is kind of crappy, but all right. So weird, this pack is all basically a bunch of cards backwards. So, let me just get this figured out here. Let's see what we got. So, first insert. That's cool. Uh, Scott Niedemeyer. Susan McLaren. Emerson. D. Phillips. Brian Leach. Timu Solani, a Curtis Joseph set checklist two, and a Patera for the stars. So first insert with a slight ding in the corner. Given the age of these cards, that doesn't surprise me. This one feels gotta be careful how I rip these open and take these out because don't wanna rip any cards. My god, is this package ever sticky? Hope that means there's hope that means there's an insert in here. Wow. That's the thing about the coating on some of these cards is they're, it's so, it's basically like the coating that they used to use on the Polaroid picture stuff. So, kind of get sticky with age. So, an Eiserman checklist one, Kravansky, uh, Hanzus, Kaminsky, Palfi, Grant Fuhr as a Calgary Flame, Garf Snow, Thibodeau, a Nenchev, or Nenchov, a Samsonov, which I I do think is... No, it's second year. I thought it was rookie. Patrick Hua. I 
hate this doing this and adjusting on the fly, but I just don't think it's cool when I can try to get a better angle for folks. are nineteen ninety nine two thousand upper deck series two so getting them at around uh ninety nine cents a pack when they're originally four ninety nine Canadian way back in the day isn't a bad thing give these another little break that's probably not a smart thing to do but anyways always kind of makes me worried when you start pulling them apart So, Chris Pronger, Zuboff, Zitnik, another Morozov, Ranheim, Ronick again, Dale Andrzejczyk for the Bruins. Never knew he did play for the Bruins. 99-2000. Um, again, the guy who really didn't go far in the NHL. Another Comrie. This is almost like an identical pack. A, the Bulin Wall. Nikolai Habby Bulin. You must have tuned away just at the last second. I got one insert so far you'd probably like. An NHL scrapbook highlight with of Stevie Y. But as you can see down on this corner here, it's got a slight ding upward on it. That's the only insert I've gotten so far out of this first set of 12 packs that I'm ripping. another pack of stickies Daniel Briere Pierre Turgeon Owen Nolan Brian Campbell Alexei Kovalev Curtis Joseph in a Toronto Maple Leafs jersey. Martin Jelena with another card stuck behind it. Which is a Yan Kaminsky, I believe it is. A Keith Primo, Carolina Hurricanes, and a Scott Gomez. Mm, that isn't going to work. <laughs> Sorry if I keep messing around with the camera angle, but I just want to try to get folks a, a better view of what I'm cracking open. <sighs> D 
Daryl Sador. Brown. Martin Straka. Ah, uh, okay. Cool. Well, thanks for the view. Either way. Uh, Nelson Emerson. Kurt stuck behind it. Uh, Phillips. Brian Leach. Timo Solani. Mike York. I'm actually surprised I remember a bunch of these guys. This guy I don't even remember. Lawrence for the Islanders. And Mark Savard for the Calgary Flames. So, so far, one insert out of uh, seven packs. Yes, the Leafs are playing uh, the Columbus Blue Jackets in the first round. Well, finally a insert, folks. A, a second insert has came upon us. And it's at the back end of the pack. So, if you set for the LA Kings, another Phil Housley. Oh, there you go. Fedorov. <laughs> uh, Victor Kozlov. A Darcy Tucker for the Tampa Bay Lightning. With a Mark Savard stuck behind it. A Kyle Calder for the Blackhawks. Mike Madano. And uh, here is our second insert. Oh, no, sorry, there is another card stuck behind this one. A Giola, <laughs> whoever the hell that is. Here is our second insert, and it's a nice insert to get. A Ice Gallery, Timu Solani. Very nice card and an awesome player. And this one's in good, good condition. Ice Gallery Selaney is a goal-scoring machine on the right wing uh, for the Mighty Ducks. He can let it up from anywhere in the attack zone as his skills are rivaled by very few in the league. Selaney notched 47 goals last year. So in the 98-99 season, he scored 47 goals for the Anaheim Mighty Ducks. So... That's definitely the nicest insert I've got so far out of that. The Ice Gallery. And that's going through... 8 packs. Should actually look at the odds. Um, odds on these are um, 30 prospects, 2000s, one for four. Odds of finding a pack containing one of the following inserts are the following 26 cents, one for five. Quantum silvers, number to 100. Quantum golds, one for one. 
10 ultimate defense, 15 NHL scrapbook, quantum silvers, number to 100, quantum golds, one for one, 15 headed to the halls, one for 23, quantum silver, uh, quantum gold, 20 all-star class, one for 23, 10 ice gallery, one for 72, upper deck game jersey, game used, memorabilia cards, one for every 2,500, Signed Upper Deck Game Jersey, numbered to 25 cards. Uh, may contain less than 10 cards. One for every 7,500. 7, uh, upper Deck Game Pad, game used goldie pad cards. One for 5,000. 500 Gold Club, a piece of history. Game used stick card is one for one in 2,000. 989 signed limited to 25 cards. Um not and not I don't think they're like an outrage. They're definitely not an outrageous amount, no. I think there's definitely some hits in here which was also the reason why I I got them because of that fact that it was the possibility now here's a checklist with the top cut off of it of Iserman gotta love these backwards cards Brandon Morris Rob Blake York, Zuboff, Zitnik, Morozov, Brard. <laughs> What's his name? O'Neill. Jeff O'Neill, who is a commentator on, uh, I believe, TSN at the moment. Yeah, that'd be nice. Gretzky. Daniel Briere. That's one of the things I was saying about doing the hobby card thing is I said, like, it really is, it's a here nor there. Like, even the cards, even that card there, it's not a very known player. But it is a 20 of 25 and the highest end one you can get. And it's still, it could be one of the lower, lower signing ones. Oh. Got another insert, finally. So, Brown for the Sabres. Uh, Straka, Phillips, Brian Leach, regular Timu Solani, with cards stuck behind it, of Oleg Kavasha. Brendan Morris, a Campbell, a card stuck behind it. There you go. Another Stevie Y checklist. Oh, that's pretty nice. And so. The third insert. And uh, the upper deck ultimate defense. Mike Richter. Another card that's in good shape. Ultimate Defense, Mike Richter recorded six seasons with at least 20 wins and more than 250 career victories. Mike Richter makes a strong argument for being considered one of the best goaltenders during the past decade. He was. Agreed. So that's cool. Starting to get some of the... Starting to get some inserts. Wow, that's awesome. Oh... And 
we apparently got another winner pack. <laughs> Jonas Hoagland. The Hogue. For the Leafs. Uh, current GM of the Seattle expansion team. Ron Francis. Ninema. Yosef Stumpel. Yeah, yeah, Yosef Stumpel. Oleg Saprikin. A Mike Madano. Another Giola. Mike Ribeiro, Moravanic, and our next insert. Which is of the Upper Deck Prospects 2000. Sudbury Wolves at the time. Taylor Pyatt. So a Taylor Pyatt, who actually didn't do too bad in the NHL. Well, it's, it's numbered as part of the set, but they consider it an insert, which is kind of stupid. Oh, <laughs> yeah, no doubt. Oh, this is reaching back, so. Okay. Ah! <laughs> You'll like this insert. It's another pack with another insert. Seems to be all the inserts are at the back of these packs. Uh, Alex Tangay was an excellent player. There's another Fedorov. Stewart. Owen Nolan. Uh... Gee Bear for the Mighty Ducks. Marco Sturm. A Swader Vat. I don't know. I don't ever remember him. He's a center. Martin Havlad from the Mighty Ducks at the time. Volchenkov for the Red... For the... Uh, Washington Capitals, and Toronto Maple Leaf, former Detroit Red Wing head boss, Brendan Shanahan, sixth sense insert. Six cents, number 14. Shanahan is prolific goal scorer year in and year out, giving the Red Wings a bona fide sniper. From the left wing, his instincts lead him to goals, and he is terrific at pouncing on loose pucks in the crease. Brendan Shanahan. Insert. That goes well for Toronto Maple Leafs and Detroit Red Wing fans. So, that's the uh, first stack out of the way. Let's uh, move on to the second stack of 12. <laughs> yeah, I know what you're talking about, Ronaldo. It's all gravy. Got another one. I'm trying to break these apart here before I crack them open or show them. It's the only thing that's bad about these cards that have the the nice 
thick gloss coating on them. Yeah, 1970. Sorry, 1967, I think, was the last Stanley Cup Beliefs one. So. Brian Burrard, Jeff O'Neill, Daniel Briere, Pierre Turgeon with the St. Louis Blues, Adam Deadmarsh with the Avalanche, former Leaf Damian Rhodes with the Flashers, Ron Tugnut with the Ottawa Senators, Sundstrom, Sharks, Rob Blake again with the Kings. Mikhailov or Mac Makalov or whatever for Montreal, another York, and our next six cents. Next insert in a Dallas Stars uniform, Brett Hall. Brett the Jet Hall, former son of Bobby Hall, former St. Louis Blue, Calgary Flame, Detroit Red Wing. So that's a cool insert to get on that. Ooh, this one's... <laughs> Tugganut. Run Tugganut. Tugganut. Oh, these ones are. Wow. These ones are really, really stuck together. Ooh, these ones are actually almost not even. These ones aren't. These ones are going to be a dud, I think. Stefan. You can see here the. There's a sticker line here. I'm not sure it'll get off. He Bear. That's the only bad thing I've heard about these packs is that some of them are really sticky like that. Marco Sturm. Uh, Franisac. New Zeal. Brian Smolinski, Scott Stevens, New Jersey Devils, Keith Primo again, Carolina, Scott Gomez with the Devils, Sparta Jet for the things, oh, Oh, I didn't even realize this was an insert. Well, another insert. <laughs> another ultimate defense insert. And actually, luckily enough, this is not damaged. But a very significant one. Martin Brodeur. Of the New Jersey Devils. That's a very nice insert. So two really good goaltenders in this. That I've gotten. Richter and Brodeur. Brodeur of course is a Hall of Famer. Well at least he will be a Hall of Famer. When his time comes. If he hasn't already been. But he'll be a, a vote in right away. More sticky cards. And backwards cards as well, too.
Let's turn these around. Here's kind of a shocker. Wendell Clark in a Chicago Blackhawks jersey. Never knew Wendell Clark actually played for the Blackhawks. Um, Steven Shields. Chris Osgood. Another good goalie of that era. Another one as well, too. John Van Beesbrook, Philadelphia Flyers. Marcus Nasland, which... Uh, he'd already been playing for a while. Doug Gilmore as a, as a Blackhawk. That's weird. Wendell Clark and Doug Gilmore. Chicago Blackhawks. Yuri Lettinen. Rob Graham, goaltender for the Bruins at the time. Another Kavasha, another Morrison. So, so far I've gotten a stack of decent inserts. So far. And nothing that I know of as substantial cards. And we got another... We got another insert in this pack. We have a Guy Hebert. Another Marco Sturm. Good old Chris Chelios. Uh, Trevor Kidd. Unfortunately, never got the success that he had with the Team Canada. Another Dale Andrzejczyk. And Alex Tangay. Uh, Martin Stewart, I think it is. Um, a, another Lawrence. And, oh, 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 wow. This was a big pack. I just got two inserts in it. First up, and this is a duplicate. Another Brett Hull. Six cents. That's two of them now I've gotten out of these packs. So, a Brett Hull six cents card. And, on top of that, on the back, a all-star class for the Vancouver Canucks, Paul Korea's brother, Steve Korea. Insert. So, Steve Korea, not a big-time player. Definitely not the success of his brother, Paul. But still was a relatively known guy. Uh, Lady Bing. Or MVP, maybe. Oh, wow. And I've just gotten another pack with another insert in it. <laughs> Let me try to... Get some st Oh. Okay. It's not a pack with one insert. It's a pack with two inserts. <laughs> wow. So far, I'm liking these last few packs. <laughs> I don't like it when you get packs that actually have two inserts in them. So this one we have Martin Jelena. Wow, I didn't know Alexander McGillney actually played for the Vancouver Canucks back then. Wow. Oh no, that's right. That was their big line. McGillney and Burre. I can't remember who it was between them, but yeah, that was their big that was their big line. Martin Zerikowski for the Islanders. Yeah. With a card stuck to the back. 
Kirk being a Michael Hanzoos. Who pretty much was playing up till a few years ago. A Jan Kaminsky again. A uh, Guy Hebert. Marco Sturm. And another Chris Chelios. And again, another favorite insert. Oh, another favorite insert for the one person watching slash listening. First insert of two. A sixth sense insert of Steve Eiserman. Current GM of the Detroit Red Wings. So, very nice. And behind that insert is another NHL is a NHL scrapbook card of Patrick Oa with the Colorado Avalanche where he won his Stanley Cup. Oa has a good chance to claim the top spot in the NHL history in terms of wins for a goalie. That is a testament to his ability to come up huge in the clutch. NHL scrapbook. Uh, looks like it was number one of the series. Or of the inserts. So that's been getting some pretty nice big name hits out of this pile even if the inserts are only worth a couple bucks it's still actually it's paying for the cards and I got another another class of 2000 prospect card in this pack um, da -da 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 -da. Sucks that these cards are all over the place. Half are inserted forwards, half are inserted backwards. Okay. Trevor Kidd. Facet for the Kings. Phil Housley playing for the Calgary Flames. A... Merton Stridwick for the Canucks. Uh, Mike Campbell for the Sabres. Kovalev for the Penguins. Curtis Joseph for the Leafs. A stuck together Campbell for the Blues. And a Eiserman checklist one and a Prospects 2000 upper deck card of guy who I don't think actually did do anything in the NHL. Matthias Weinhandel. So, Matthias Weinhandel. Cool looking card. But considering I think it's part of the set, I will not put it as an insert. So, so far this stack of 12 has been really nice. And here's package number 6. Checking on a message I got from a friend here, my bud. And another insert in this one. Jamnoff. God. 
didn't play too long. Patrick Stefan. I think that is actually... Yeah, the Patrick Stefan card is a rookie card, I believe. Guy Hebert. Uh, <laughs> Radic Bunk. <laughs> bunk, bunk, bunk. A Theo Fleury playing for the New York Rangers. That's awesome. Another Mew Seal. Frantisac Mew Seal. Ranheim, Jeremy Roenick, Dave Andrichuk, and not a super great one because it's got a slight, well, it's a nice card to get for an insert, but with the slight ding in the corner, not so much. NHL scrapbook of Yarmer Jaeger with the slight lift in the corner there that you can see very 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 slight but still a good card once they're probably put in a top loader it probably will come out a bit It's another pack of stickiness. And Slate Ben. Love to know who this Lawrence guy was. He obviously didn't do too much because he didn't stay around for very long. Oh, apparently it's a rookie card too. Mark Lawrence. Rookie card. Hmm. Savard. Kyle Calder. Mike Modano. The Stars is it, Nick with the Sabres, Morozov again with the Penguins, Brian Berard again with the Leafs, Jeff O'Neill with the Carolina Hurricanes, uh, Marcus Naslin with the Canucks, Doug Gilmore again with the Blackhawks, and Lettman. Morozov, Berard, Jeff O'Neill, pretty much almost identical pack. Daniel Briere, Teradoski, Ranheim, Ronick, Iserman, Checklist, Marius Cherkovsky, if I remember correctly, and Hanzus for the Blues. So, some nice inserts in this stack that I got. And uh, another insert. Uh, we got Morozov, Berard, O'Neill, Martin Jelena, McGilney. Turk for the St. Louis Blues. That's a different card. Stewart. Uh, Fedorov again. Uh, Kozlov. And the insert again for our individual listening. It is a all star class. Steve Eiserman. All star class number 10. One of the greatest to ever play the game. Eiserman is a is a rock of stability in Detroit's lineup. His consistency leads to the Red Wings' success. 
98-99 Red Wings, 80 games played, 29 goals, 45 assists for 74 points. It was a plus 8. So, very nice. Steve Eisman All-Star Class insert. Sundstrom for the Sharks, Rob Blake again, Frenzak Musial, Brian Slominski, Rob Brown for the Sabres, Martin Straka for the Penguins, another Jonas Hoagland for the Leafs, Ron Francis, Oleg, Ole the Goldie Colzeg. That's a different card. And, ooh, a St. Louis Blues, Chris Pronger. That's a not bad pack. And the last out of this, lot of 12. And it's another backwards mixed up pack. Well, I think it is. Damian Rhodes, Ron Tugnut for the Ottawa Centers, Thomas Vokun, who I can't remember if he's still playing in the NHL or not. Like Tabardoski, Ian Kaminsky, Keith Primo. Set, Phil Housley, Ham Hughes, and another Trevor Kid. That's got to be about the fifth Trevor Kid I've seen. So now on to stack three of twelve. Oh, nice insert here in the first pack. That's Let me flip through here and get some of these turned around. Sandus Oslinch, Daryl Sador, another Rob Brown, another Straka, and Adam Deadmarsh. Another Damian Rose for the Thrashers. Oddly enough, right behind the uh, Maricel for the Thrashers in goal as well, too. Mike Comrie. Former Leaf. Denny Pot Dennis Potvin. And then fill it in the uh, New York Islanders outfit. And a upper deck ultimate defense insert of the Dominator, Dominic Hasek. Very nice card. Getting at least some nice known named inserts out of these. Especially anyone who's a goaltender fan. Really would be liking these. Oh, this is an awesome scrapbook insert I got on this pack. So, we actually have a, a Doug Waite for the uh, Edmonton Oilers, a Zygmunt Palfi for the LA Kings, Gene Grant Fuhr. Garf Snow, the Vancouver Canuck, 
Martin Jelena, another McGillney. Card stuck to the back of it. Another Malakoff with a card stuck to the back of it. Mike York, uh, a Lawrence, and NHL scrapbook insert. Hall of Famer and Legend, Ray Bork. So, Ray Bork, NHL Scrapbook Insert. Another awesome insert. And it's another insert pack. Uh, Fusate, Phil Housley, Wade Redden insert, a Darian Hatcher insert, wow. Uh, Yanni Ninema. The Oilers, Joseph Stumple, Mike Johnson for the Maple Leafs, who as well now is a broadcaster for TSN or Sportsnet, a Steve Korea for the Canucks, a whatever Robitaille, and... Another nice sixth sense card of Patrick Waugh. Patrick Waugh sixth sense card. Very nice. There's definitely a nice card for a non-insert in this. Okay, we got Pierre Turgeon, a Owen Nolan, a Martin Bira for the Sabres, another Adam Deadmarsh, another Damian Rhodes, another Ron Tugnut, a another Thomas Vokun, a I think it's Jamie Pusher for the Dallas Stars. Another Curtis Joseph. And this prospect. <laughs> this prospect I, I should keep out as, even though it's part of the set, Prospects 2000 card of Daniel Sandin, who hasn't been playing in the NHL for... I think two seasons now, but Daniel Sundin prospect card, which is basically the rookie card for him. So, not really an insert. Pr well, I guess you could say technically it's like an insert. Ooh. Of a all-star class insert in this one as well too. Let me just break those cards up a bit more. Pierre Turgeon, Owen Nolan, Martin Buron, Van Beesbrook, Marcus Naslin for the Canucks, Doug Gilmore for the Blackhawks again. With a 
Mike York behind him, a Lawrence, Mark Savard for the Calgary Flames, and a very awesome all-star class card. Matt Sundin for the Toronto Maple Leafs. All-star class insert. Awesome card. I think this is just a normal pack. Grant Fear, Garf Snow, huh, a Jose Tia. Tiado or Tibero goaltender for the Chicago Blackhawks. Oh wow. He'd actually been in the league a while then. Hmm. A um, American hockey analyst Ray Ferraro with the Atlanta Thrashers, who are now the Winnipeg Jets, another Alexei Kovalev, Martin Jelena, another McGilney, another Potman for the Islanders, uh, Sundstrom for the San Jose Sharks, and a, another Rob Blake. Another next up pack. Make sure everything's loose. Okay. Sergey Nemchinov for the Devils. Wow, it's been a while. Uh, Samsonov. Another Mike Johnson. Alexei Tezadog. Don't remember him for the Capitals. And appears to be a rookie card. There's Steve Korea. And Oli Jokinen for the New York Islanders. Wow. Third year card. Danielle Briere for the Phoenix Coyotes. Pierre Turgeon, Owen Nolan, and Byron again. Thank you again to those of you out there that are watching or listening to this stream. I appreciate it very much. I definitely can use the watch time hours up. And the views, that would be much appreciated. As well like and subscribe as well to anyone that stumbles onto these um, I would appreciate it I'm trying to get to a thousand views and or sorry a thousand subs and four thousand views it does help the channel and it does help me to bring content to you guys so again thank you very much and again everyone listening at the moment I hope you're having a great day uh, Alexi Zamnoff with the Blackhawks. Patrick Steffen again. That's a record. Daniel Alfredson. Dale Andrzejczyk. And Alex Tangay. Brad Stewart. Mike Johnson again for the Leafs. 
Another Steve Correa. Randy Robitaille. That's who it is for the Nashville Predators. And a bit of a weird... Stuck there. Well, here's a new card, finally. A Simone Gagne for the Flyers. Oh! Sorry, the Simone Gagne is actually a relevant card, because... It's his rookie card. So, nothing off that. ASMR fans. Crinkle, crinkle, crinkle. <laughs> Jocelyn Tebow. That's right, that's who it is. Ray Ferraro. Another Daniel Alfredson. Ooh. A Peter Nedvid with the Rangers. Yeah, he was near the end of his lifespan there. Brian Leach. An actual Timu Solani card. Another Ole Jokinen with the Islanders. A Nikolai Habibulin. Phoenix Coyotes. Pot van with a Sunstrom stuck behind it. So down to pack. Oh, pack thirty four. Stefan Giolana. Hmm. So that's that name. Uh, another Jonas Hoagland. Francis. Kolzig. Pronger, which is nice. Actually, it's funny. Chris Pronger actually just left the... Florida Panthers organization to start up his family business. So it's kind of interesting to see how that goes. Uh, Sergey Nemchinov. Another Samsonov. Third year. Kyle Calder. Oh, that's right. Kyle Calder is a rookie card for this year. I forgot about that. Mike Medano. And the Giannata. Or Giannola. Giannola, I think it is. Pack number 35 of 48. Chris Pronger, Sergey Zuboff, Alexander Zitnik, Thomas Vokun, Oleg Teradoski, for again the Ducks, Paul Reinheim for the Carolina Hurricanes, Jeremy Roenick, Phoenix Coyotes, Oleg Kavasha, Panthers. Second year card? Huh. Brendan Morrison for the New Jersey Devils. And a 
Jim Campbell for the Blues. And we're on to pack number 36 of 48. And we finally have our hits back. So this stack wasn't very... Didn't have too many inserts, but decent amount in them. Kelly Buckberger. God, I always thought he was a weird-looking dude with that helmet and that. His helmet and his facial look just something strange about him. <laughs> I don't know what, but... Uh, Radic Bonk. Therian Flurry. And we got a bunch of backwards cards here. And these cards are all over the place. Hoagland. Merton Straka, Curtis Brown, Robin Regeer, Robin Regeer rookie card, Kyle McLaren, and again a All Star class. Another nice one to get. Hall of Famer Raymond Bork. All star class card. Awesome card. On to our last stack of 12. Yep, I am still here. Mr. Ronaldo, sir. And, uh,. That's what I usually do when I break the packs. I stay the full length of the of the amount that I'm gonna do. So, yeah, this has been streaming an hour and twenty two minutes. So, uh, definitely got a cool insert in here. Chris Pronger, Zuboff, Zitnik, Kovalev. Curtis Joseph again. Jelena. McGillney. Another Mark Lawrence rookie card. God. I swear there's about 10 of them I've gotten. Mark Savard. Kyle Calder. And again. Very nice. Ultimate defense of Cujo Curtis Joseph. So a ultimate defense insert of Curtis Joseph. Nice way to start off the last pack. Or the last... 12 packs that I got out of this. And this one unfortunately has a ding on it. And it is sticky as I all heck. Well, it isn't anyone significant, anyways, so. Uh, Holy Kavasha. Brandon Morrison. Jim Campbell. Steve Eisenman checklist. 
Zygmunt Palfi. That's right, that's what his name was. It was Zygmunt Palfi. Another Grant Fear, another Garf Snow. I don't know how many Islanders fans would love to probably burn up all these Garf Snow cards. <laughs> uh, defense. Scott Lachance. Another Adam Deadmarsh. A, another Damian Rhodes. In the 2000 Prospect card is of Christian Kudarok. Six foot six defenseman who apparently didn't go anywhere in the NHL. Well, that insert or rookie wasn't anything substantial. Um, no, I don't think Garth actually GM'd while still in net for the Islanders. And even if he was, it was very, very short. I don't think he was, though. No, that was actually, um, uh, Schneider, who's uh, this year is actually his last year of that 15 year contract. Is it Schneider or. Oh, I can't remember, but yeah, you're right. That person, uh, this next season when it starts in November slash December, will, will be his. Uh, <laughs> I was an Islanders fan back in the day, back with the uh, Edmonton uh, Edmonton Islanders battle for the Stanley Cup back in the day. My uh, that's how I kind of loved being a goaltender was uh, was watching Billy Smith. And when I was playing ball hockey and that when I was young, I actually had a real wooden goalie stick and I was playing net. And uh, the one guy, he was, he was sticking me with his stick. And of course, it was a plastic hockey stick for ball hockey, but the goaltenders could have actual wood sticks, so it wasn't an issue. Well, sure enough, he kept doing that and I did a Billy Smith and I whacked him in the heel. And I got called for a penalty, but at the same time, my the uh, referee who was my uh, teacher at the time, he kind of just spurned and he was just kind of like, and the person's all like pissed off, and it's like, sorry, you're poking me with a with a a stick. What do you expect me to do? To just sit there and like take it? <laughs> uh, John Van Beesbrook. Another Marcus Naslund, Doug Gilmore, Yuri Lettinen, Curtis Joseph Checklist 2, Alexei Tezukov, and a Pavel Pantera, or P Pavel Patera rookie card. Yeah. Yeah, when I was younger, those were still around. Jeez, these packs are all sticky. It's like, what, were they owned formerly by a porn star? <laughs> Peter North owned these cars previously. <laughs> Jamie Pusher. Curtis Joseph. Teradovsky. Patera again. Daryl Sador. 
Curtis Brown, Martin Straka, another Jonas Hoagland, Fedorov, Victor Kozlov, yeah. So you can see a bubbling here in the card where the glosses has some type of flaw or finish in it. And a Darcy Tucker. Was this? Yep, yeah, pre Leafs. So he must have joined the Leafs just after this. Yeah, and now most hockey sticks are made out of carbon fiber. It's like, wow. It's no doubt hockey sticks are expensive now. <laughs> the only cheap hockey stick is a wooden one. Okay. Tim Connolly. Who I think is still running around the NHL, and it is a rookie card actually. Pot Van, Steve Korea, Randy Robitai, a Yuri Fisher. That's a different one, and that is a rookie. Luke Robitai, wow, that's awesome. Funny, says Montreal, Quebec. Meanwhile, he was born the next town over. Scott Niedemeyer. Jason Allison. Mr. Slow Feet. Sandis Ozlich. And a Daryl Sador. Yeah. And they have the flex factor as well, too, into them. You can't, you couldn't necessarily do that with a hockey stick, have a customized flex. Oh, well, here we go, Mr. Ronaldo. A Chris Chelios. <laughs> Trevor Kidd. Nemchinov, Samsonov, a regular Patrick Waugh, Jamie Pusher, Curtis Joseph Checklist, Tevidovsky, Patera, and a 2002 prospect of <laughs> I was wondering if I would get one of these in this. 2000 prospect slash rookie card of current Toronto Maple Leafs head coach Sheldon Keefe. He actually played for the OHL Barry Colts. I forgot about that. In 66 games in the OHL, he had 51 goals, 65 assists for 116 points. It's kind of a shame he never did actually do much in the uh, do much in the NHL. But doesn't matter. He's actually head coach in the uh... yeah I agree I wonder if he's still a workout freak and I wonder if he actually still could play like Yermer Jaeger does um no uh, Ronaldo in the case of Sheldon Keefe, they brought him into the AHL team like about three, four years ago. 
So he already had been coaching for a while in the Leafs system. And the uh, the current GM for the Leafs, um, can't remember his name off the top of my head, the young guy, he was also the AHL GM for the uh, Toronto Marlies. So, in theory, uh, yes. And that was, that's just it. That was actually uh, the uh, thing. Shanahan was behind that. Getting the young GM and young coach ready to come in. Yep, that's right. They want to call her. And they hadn't won a Calder in quite some time either. Snow, Tebow, Ray Ferraro. So that's kind of the one thing with the Leafs uh, farm team. They got players already established uh, connections with each other that they literally could just pull up and put on the NHL roster and it would almost be no different. Finally, another insert. And again, Scott Niedemeyer, Jason Ellison, Sandus Ozlich, Brian Smolinski, Anson. There's one of the first, I think, few black guys in the NHL, Anson Carter, who, uh, he's also now, I think, an analyst, I think, for one of the, um, one of the, uh, Canadian networks, an actual Joe Sackick, kind of nice. Sundstrom, Blake, and a sixth sense of, again, just mentioned by Ronaldo here in the chat. Sixth sense insert of Brandon Shanahan. Again, president, <laughs> former Detroit Red Wing, and current president of the Trom Toronto Maple Leafs organization. Yeah, George LaRock actually, in his interviews on the show Off the Record, he was just, like, awesome as a person. So, like, and it was kind of sad that that's actually, uh, it's kind of sad that he actually, um, had to be a scrapper because he actually was a decent player and he would have been a, a cool person. Like, he was a really nice person. Everybody looked at him as a, as a fighter, and that was his primary role. Another cool thing about George LaRock, my ISP that I'm with, Tech Savvy, they actually had him as a spokesperson for a year. So it's funny you mentioned LaRock. Pronger, Zuboff, Zitnik, Morozov. Yokinen, Nenchinov, Samson, Samsonov, another Hanzus, Valerie Kaminsky, and another Keith Primo. Down to the last few packs. Yeah. All those scrapper people got in really bad situations because all the concussions and everything else. Yeah, that as well too. Working as a working at a Tim Hortons in Quebec, but hey, that's the reality when you don't like. 
I'm not a fan of Tim Hortons coffee. I'll, I'll drink it on occasion, but I agree. Like, I'd rather get Starbucks or, like, in my own case, I buy my own beans and grind them and just percolate coffee, and it's far better coffee than Tim Hortons. The biggest problem with the Tim Hortons is they lost their premium bean contract. Jason Strudwick. And then... Uh, and then on top of that, all the water sources are all so different, like... Compared to me, where I live up in cottage country, it's like our water is totally different than, say, the water in like Toronto or any of these like major towns. The waters are like really bad and in difference. Oh, an Oleg Saprikin rookie, Scott Lachance. Oh, another Simone Gagne rookie. That's never a bad thing. Brian Savage. Oh, he was in the league already for him at then. So yeah, water is, to me, the beans are the one factor, but the biggest factor in all in regards to coffee is the water quality. Yeah, exactly. It's funny, the one guitar guy I know, that's actually what he is. He's like, oh, I love Tim Horton's coffee. And I'm like, oh, you live in Ohio, your water in Ohio is probably better, so that's probably why you like it. <laughs> Second last pack of the 48. Stefan Fisset, Jason Strudwick, Phil Housley again, Wendell Clark, another Thomas Vokun, another Oleg Tevardoski, Paul Reinheim, Paul Comrie, Paul Comrie, oh, I thought it was Mike Comrie, hmm. Stuck Habibulin, and another Nicholas Sundstrom. Last pack out of the 48. Yeah. Well, and that's what they originally used to be back in the day up here. When you went to a Tim Hortons in the, in the late 70s, early 80s, all it was was donuts and coffee. That's all they served. And it was when they started to actually expand their lineup into all the crap that they got. It was right when the downfall of the uh, downfall of the company came. So it doesn't look like any inserts in this last pack. Paterna, Johnson, Lachance, Dead Marsh again. Zygmunt Palfi. Oh. Oh, Doug Waite. Oh, I thought it was Rookie. Eh. Grant Fear, Garth Snow again. Jocelyn Tebow and a Ray Ferraro. That leaves me with three nice big stacks. And we have a stack of inserts now, though, at least. Let's try to break them up here a bit. Start class, I'll start class. Six cents.
back in the regular stack. So, we got for inserts at 48 packs. Steve Korea, Steve Eiserman, Matt Sundin in a Ray Bork for All-Star class. For Ultimate Defense, Mike Richter, Martin Bordeur, Dominic Hasek, and a Curtis Joseph. Some very cool cards there. For the NHL scrapbook inserts, we got a Steve Eiserman, Patrick Waugh, Yarmer Jaeger, and a Ray Bork. For six sixth cents inserts, we got Brendan Shanahan, two Brett Halls, Steve Eiserman, Patrick Waugh. Oh, actually, two Brandon Shanahan's and two Brett Halls. That's interesting. Didn't even realize that. And I think this was the high end insert for the series, the Ice Gallery of Timu Salani. So that is the insert. So if I remember correctly, so out of 48 packs, I got 21 inserts. And uh, a few rookies, I got one Sundin, so that's not too bad. Beyond that, that's pretty much it. Um, thanks again for everyone that uh, stayed the almost two hours and watched. Um, again, hope you are all well. Take care, and I will catch you around online on whoever your various channels are. Again, I said, take care. See you later. Bye for now. Oh, if you're interested in any of the cards that I do end up getting, uh, please leave a message on this video or leave me an email at the email in my information, channel information, and we will see what I can do for you. Thanks again, folks. Take care. Bye for now.